Hey guys, uh, it's Noah Kembo here, and uh, in this tutorial, I'll teach you how you can create a list view. This is a list view where you'll be having a number of lists in a, in a, in, a, in an application, and uh, uh, from this uh, list view, you can select uh, items inside the list view and submit them even in a text field or submit them anywhere. So I'll show you how you can first of all create a list view in the interface, and then now you can supply data into the list view. And then now we can get these values in the list view and submit them. So I can uh, I will divide this uh, tutorial into two. First, I'll teach you how to design the interface and then supply data into the list view. And then the second part of the list view uh, tutorial will be how to now get values inside the list view. Uh, select list view, get an item into the list view. And you can see when I select anything, any of uh, these movies, it will just be submitted into the list view below. So to do this now, let us create a new project so far. I'll create a new project, the Java FX, Java FX FX ML application. Select next, and then I'll type in the name of my project. So list view is the name of my project. Then finish. So we have uh, the FX ML file, the Java controller class file, and the main Java class file in the, in the application because it contains the main method as I visually said. And then now, now that we've done that, we can now uh, close everything first. And then let us expand everything here. And then cut the fxml file first. And uh, before even making the controller, just come and uh, open it. Open it in the scene builder. We want to design uh, the interface first. Uh, So select the end cap and uh, first of all select the button on the label and then we'll delete it and then in this end cap we will uh, uh, decide to increase uh, the size at least uh, uh, something like that will work and then we will type in here uh, the V box then fit it to the parent uh, after doing that now, uh, now the next thing is, is the, it will be, we will type in the text, but uh, even before we add this text into this VBOX, now select this VBOX, come to the alignment here and align everything to the top center. Then now come and select this text and copy this text into the VBOX. And then now change the text value here and maybe say, uh, movie movie list and then you can change the font create the font size uh, change the font type to be uh, something like area black uh, it's, a, it's more bold and then after doing that now we are good to go uh, now come here and type a list list uh, like uh, list view so list views are very important maybe when you have a number of lists or you have something like a menu. If you want to create a, a simple restaurant application where you have a list of items, a list of products and someone will just have to select the list of what he wants to sell or what he wants to buy from a list. So list uh, views can be uh, are very useful when creating a very big application that contains a list of items. So now. Uh, I've drag and drop the list view uh, inside uh, the view box and uh, again another use of a list view may be because you may want to view uh, some products from the database or some contacts just in the form of a list view. So now because now we have a list view here we have a movie list so I'll show you how now to supply data to, to this because when you just preview uh, it's still very blank. And now I'll show you. Now come to the code here. Uh, we want and let us give this code, uh, this list view some ID, and let us call it uh, like movie list. So movie list that will work. Now save your project uh, that, and then now come here and make the controller. And when you do that, now this label loses its value, and then uh, uh, this method always loses its value. Now uh, we'll be needing an observable list. So observable list are just an, is an, is just a form of an array. 
but it observes uh, its changes when uh, the data inside it, uh, it changes. So it, is, it, it observes changes. That, that, that hence the name an observable list. But it's just an observable list array. So that's it. So uh, under it, uh, so whenever there are changes to the observable list, it will also apply it to the where, wherever it was rendered to. So first of all, let us create a new observable list array. So observable list array. So uh, the more you work with observable list arrays, the more you will be conversant with this. So observable list will get an observable list will name it list, then uh, equals to fx collections. Uh, after doing that now, let us do some inputs. And then in this list view here, we will add uh, the data type. Uh, now here you can uh, decide to put uh, the name of the class or the of which it will be taking the data model from, or you can just decide to put the data type it will be holding. So uh, here uh, I will be posting in some uh, list of movies into the list view. So I didn't don't need, uh, uh, I, that's the hence the string, the string data type. So let us create a method that will be supplying that to a list view. So private void load data. And then uh, you can, something like that. And then uh, this method will be supplying data to our list view. So. Uh, the first thing I will check if uh, this list uh, is empty, so that it can uh, we can avoid uh, duplicate uh, d d forms of series or data added. So list. And then after doing that, now uh, let us uh, now declare some uh, movies. So string A is uh, the first movie uh, we have. So the first movie, let us call it uh, uh, transporter. Uh, so string B let us call the second movie uh, let us choose hangover 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 and then string C I'll uh, type in the name uh, Zonvik uh, I love this movie so uh, John Wick. And then after that, uh, let us just type in the the last uh, movie. Pound of flesh. So we'll be adding this uh, movies into a list, into a list here actually. So to do this now, let us add first uh, this data into the list field. So let us add all, and we will be adding A, A, B, C, D, then that's it. After doing that now, let us add these items into the uh, list view. So list view, get items, uh, add all. So, uh, oh, sorry, I we call our uh, list view movie list. So that was a uh, my bad. So movie list, you get items, and then you add the observable list into it. So after doing that, now let us call this method uh, here so that it, uh, when this application runs, it, it will be called uh, at the initialization part. So to do this now, copy this, paste it here. So now we'll build the application to see what happens. So far, so good.
And here we go. So now we have added uh, some items into the observable list. Uh, so, not sorry, into the list view. And uh, it was simple. We created an observable list here. And then now we created a method, load data. Now, and uh, we cleared anything that was inside the observable list. Declared four strings and uh, assigned it to some movies. Uh, transporter and over, zone week and uh, pond of flesh. And then we added those movies into the observable list and then now we added the observable list to the, uh, observe, to the list field. So that is it on how you can uh, populate data uh, in JavaFX. So the next thing now I want to show you is how now you can uh, select the, the items added in the list field and uh, uh, do it. So to do that, very simple. So let us go back to the same builder and I'll select this uh, movie list, the list field. So here, I will first of all put a screen uh, so that uh, a text field be below the list view so that we can know what was selected and uh, just text field and uh, drop it into the viewbox. Uh, it, be, it should be below the list view. So that's it. And then you can increase the size. First of all, come to the property. Uh, and check this so that it is not editable. We want it to manipulate it to work like our screen. And then uh, check the most transparent property. And then allow, uh, give a, a margin of about 20. Uh, and then after doing that now, come to the code and give it an edit screen. So that's it. After doing that now, uh, now select this list view. Once this list view, se select the list view. And then after doing that, now come. We want to give it an event so that whenever someone clicks this uh, movie list, if it's something that has been touched or clicked, uh, it will get the selected item and uh, echo it or submit it to this text field. So I'll show you how to do that. Come here and uh, say on mouse click. So on mouse click, uh, this is the method, this is the event that we want to write our method based on. So it will be. Uh, display uh, selected so when someone clicks uh, this list we will check is it null or if it's not null we will be submitting the values so after doing that now save your, uh, your, pro, your progress and then now come back to NetBeans uh, right click the XML file and make the controller and you can see some method has been created here and so what we'll be doing uh, we'll say string uh, string uh, movie equals to movie so movie list uh, get selection model So then, and then uh, that's it. Then uh, get selected item. So that's it. That's the what you want. So this one will get the. It will first get the selection model, and then it will get the selected item in the, in the movie list. Now let us echo what has been selected into the screen. So what we'll be doing is screen dot. So first of all, let us check if uh, the selected the string is null or empty. So uh, string movie uh, so if string movie equals to null or uh, string movie is empty will display some message in the screen so screen set text so display some message here and they say uh, nothing selected Then uh, that's it. Uh, sorry, uh, semicolon. And then uh, now that we've done that, now come here uh, after this, and then let us say else, meaning that now uh, it is not empty or null, and uh, we'll display the value. So screen the set text, and let us put in uh, the value, and uh, let us say. 
the movie selected so movie that's the string value selected then place some space here has been selected or uh, selected so that is the message that will be displayed when you select any movie by just clicking the list view so once you have saved your project now build your application so once the build is successful come to the main class and then run the file again So here we go, and uh, when you select nothing, uh, like here, uh, you, can you can see what has been displayed. But when you select a movie, you can see it gets the selected item and it displays bundle of flesh selected, genre is selected, uh, transport is selected, hangover is selected. So you can just see uh, any, everything that I've done. So hangover selected, transporter is selected, uh, bundle of flesh selected, and when you select uh, uh, anything with just the script. So that was it about uh, uh, the list views, how you can add values for plate data in a list view, how you can repeat the selected item in a list view, and uh, now uh, it is that simple. So uh, uh, that was it about uh, list views. So hope you learned something about this JavaFX XML application. Uh, now how we declare, we remove everything declared some list of movies, added it to the observable list, added the uh, item CP. And now, how you can now get the selected item. Now, set, declare some string, name it movie. Uh, now, call the list view, uh, dot get selection model, and then get the selected item. And that was it about uh, Java FX, uh, uh, FXML list views. So, hope you learned something, and I'll be showing you in a later tutorial how now you can uh, use this in a very big application, like a restaurant management system. Uh, just so stay tuned, subscribe to this uh, tutorial, uh, tutorials and you learn more about programming. So uh, thank you for watching this video.